Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So in this video, I'm gonna be talking about my budget for the month of June and everything that happened to me money-wise during the month of June and if I was successful or not and if I stayed on track. So the month of June was the first month that I started um, doing the cash envelope system. And if you haven't seen that video, you can, um, I'll link it up so that you can go watch it but I explain why I wanted to start it and the special wallet, this wallet that I use um, for the system. So everything is divided by categories in my wallet and um, yeah, so I can know exactly where I'm spending my money and make sure that I don't go overboard. So was I successful? Yes. And no, in the month of June, I actually went on vacation for one week um, with two of my friends. Uh, both of them live far away. One's in Texas, one's in New Hampshire, and they were in North Carolina. So we went to Asheville and um, just hung out there for the week. Now, I, at the beginning of June, I started this whole cash envelope system thing, but I didn't really factor in vacation. So I just took cash out to live for the month of June the way I usually do. But you know, on vacation, you're spending money. And I didn't, I didn't think about that. And the first day I got there, I was like, mm, this is not gonna work. Because I went the third week of June and I still had the last week to, um, you know, live normally with my cash system. So I use my uh, credit card for the trip. Now, I'm still responsible, okay? Like, I'm not one who's just like blowing money even though I used a credit card. I was still very money conscious the whole trip. Um, we got an Airbnb for three people and it was like 900 total, so 300 a piece. And outside of the money for the Airbnb, I only spent like $200 for the week. And I think that's pretty good um, for vacation. Um, we went to the Biltmore, cause we were in Asheville. We went to the Biltmore and that, if you didn't know, was like $70 um, a piece. And also that same day we ended up going to um, a really like nice restaurant and I spent $30 there. So one day I spent $100. But the other four, yeah, four days, I spent a hundred and that included, we got groceries for the week, so we didn't eat out that much. Um, I spent like $20 there. We did, we did a ghost tour, that was about 20. We did a pole dancing class, that was about 20. That's 60 right there. What did I do the other 40? You know what? I may have spent more. <laughs> I may have spent more than two hundred because uh, we went to Target because the pole dancing class we didn't bring like workout clothes, so I had to get that. And I saw a jacket at Target that was out of season. It was really cheap. It was discounted because it was off season, but it was a really nice jacket, so I went ahead and got that. Um, we ate out at one place. I got a burger, I think. We went to a taco place and we went to Mellow Mushroom. Those were the three like regular places that we went to outside of that like really expensive restaurant. And each of those places, I know I spent less than 10 or like right at 10. So I don't want to add it up because I don't want to, <laughs> I don't want to get mad at myself, but I think I think I still did a pretty good job um, money wise. Oh, we went to a brewery and I got beer, which was like a big deal for me because I don't drink, but I bought um, bottles of beer. I bought two and that was $20. I spent money, okay? I didn't budget for it. So that is where I failed. Um, but I also got into a car accident at the very end of May. Um, and I had to buy a car in June. It was not my fault, the car accident. I was hit in the back on the highway. It was actually really scary, but um, I survived, so look at God. But I did have to get a new car. Um, I'm gonna make a whole other video about that because that was my first time having to buy a car um, by myself. Like no one else is on the car note. 
Um, no one is helping me finance it. It is my sole responsibility. It's my car, straight out. I'm paying for the insurance, everything like that is my car. My car before that, my parents bought that um, in high school. So um, I was really new to the process of buying a car. So I'm gonna make a video about that. But um, I now have a $430 car payment. And I know if you're watching this, you're just like, but doesn't she watch Dave Ramsey? Like, why would she do this? It's like, it's gonna be a whole other video where I'll talk about my feelings on that. But just so you know, I now have a $430 car payment for the next 48 months, but my goal is to pay it off in 12 months. So I'll talk about that um, in my July budget. Anyway, so um, those were the two fails budget-wise for the month. But outside of that, I gave myself $450 for June and I'm proud to say that at the end of June, when I counted the cash that was left, I had $126. That's what this is. Um, I started collecting or putting it all in a jar. I already had this jar with the coins, so don't, the coins aren't included from June, but these bills, the bills in here, this is all from the month of June. And if you were to count it, it would be $126. So I was really proud of myself about that. Like I gave myself $450 to live for the entire month. That, my categories are groceries. <laughs> let me, let me look. Uh, groceries, household supplies. So that's anything from like, shampoo to toilet paper, um, shopping. And then for me, that's mainly like books or sometimes clothes, usually like some type of tech item, cause that's just me, um, entertainment and restaurants. So, uh, and you know, technically I don't really need the restaurants category. And you know, if I was super strict, I wouldn't even have a restaurant and I'd category I wouldn't even have a restaurant category and I would just be cooking all the time but like realistically come on now um for I, my groceries I gave myself a budget of 160 household I gave myself a budget of 60 shopping I gave myself a budget of 80 I think entertainment was a budget of 50 and restaurants was a budget of 100 I had money left over in every category except for restaurants. I, restaurants, I used every last dollar of that, but that I only ran out like June 28th or something. So June had 30 days. Yeah. So those last two, oh yeah, it was only those last two days. That's when I didn't have any money to eat out. So I ate in those days, but I was still really proud of myself for being so far under my budget. So what I'm gonna do with this money, every month the cash that I have left over is going to go in here. So I don't know how much is in here coin wise, but just bills is 126. So I, this is gonna be my sinking fund. Um, and yeah, at the end of every month, I'll throw money in here. And what I'm gonna use this for, um, car insurance. My car insurance is like 535 for six months. So by the time six months comes around, I should have 535 and I won't have to, you know, look in my bank account like, huh, where's this money gonna come from? I already know where the money's gonna come from, if that makes sense. So that's my plan. Actually, I'm gonna have to pay my registration fees for the car come August, so I'll probably have to use this for that and then build it up again for December. But um, who knows, yeah. I may have enough for the registration fees for the car and the car insurance, so we'll see. So um, yeah, that was my budget for June. That was my first time budgeting, following the cash envelope system. Um, for the first month, I think that I did really well. 
I knew that the vacation was coming up and I didn't properly plan for that. So that's my fault. I did not plan to get in a car accident. Although I have to have some accountability, I could have just bought a new, a, a used car. I did buy a used car, but it's like in 2016. So like it's still, I'll talk about that in another video. <laughs> but um, yes, yeah, so kind of like a, uh, uh, not, not, I can't do a straight thumbs up, but like a, uh, for the month of June. Sorry that this was late. Um, I just had a lot going on, um, in June. Like I said, I, the car accident, I had to like rush and get a car then I was on vacation and just, I've been busy. So sorry that the video is late, but I hope that this helps someone and, you know, gives you some inspiration and start your own financial journey. Um, hope you liked the video comment and you know tell me what you thought about how i did for the month of june subscribe to the channel and i'll see you next time bye